You actually rolled out a presentation uh, with data from the Solar Market Insight report that, that GTM Research puts together with SIA, and you got some really interesting stuff in there. You had this checklist in which you laid out four elements that may indicate whether or not solar is hitting the mainstream. The first one was solar making up a majority of U.S. capacity coming online. Yeah, solar has to be a primary source of new electric capacity in the U.S. And it's number two this year. This year it's number two behind natural gas. Last year it was number four, and so we've moved up two in the ranks. And it looks like for the next couple of years, solar is likely to be probably the second largest source of new capacity in the United States. So I think we can check that box off. Mm. And then you also say it has to be taken seriously by utilities. And as we just talked about, utilities are definitely starting to take notice. They now realize that solar is an economic technology and that the cost curve will probably keep coming down. And so utility reactions to that have varied all across the board from you know, steering into the skid and investing in solar themselves and on the other side of the spectrum, you know, fighting solar tooth and nail. Yeah, so, you say there's some good and some bad. So the bad yeah. is these are these net metering battles that we see taking place all across the country and spreading. And good in terms of utilities now investing directly in projects, venture investing in companies, or taking over developers. Yeah, exactly. I and mean, we've seen a lot of that this year. All right, number three, this is a hard one. The solar industry has to be less dependent on fickle incentives in state markets. What do you mean by fickle incentives? Yeah, so that was a tough one to define. I think it you know, would be easier to say solar has to be cost competitive without incentives full stop. But the the truth is that I think a lot of people would point out rightly that the fossil fuel industry benefits from a number of incentives that exist in perpetuity and it's not that solar has to be uh, totally incentive independent, it's that solar can't be reliant on incentives that can easily be introduced and removed over short periods of time, which introduces a lot of volatility and complexity in the market. And historically, the only way to build a solar project in the U.S. was to stack incentives. You needed the federal incentive, and then you needed some kind of state level incentive. And California is the first state where we're seeing in volume installations going in where the top layer of that cake has now been removed. And you can make an installation pencil out with just the federal ITC. And then we have four years of runway to get from now to the point where those installations don't even need the ITC. And then, you know, solar has achieved that item on the checklist. So a half check there. Right. Number four. Uh, financial, the financial community has to take solar seriously as well. And this year has brought a lot of activity. We've seen around a doubling of residential solar finance activity. Is there a check there? Yeah, I think we're at a half check there as well. You know, historically, financing has been the biggest bottleneck to solar in the United States, more than anything else. It's always been hard to find. It's always been too expensive. And so in order for solar to be mainstream and certainly to remain so in a sustainable fashion, we have to both broaden the pool of capital available to solar projects and we have to lower the cost of that capital. And there are a number of ways in which we're starting to see that happen now. Securitization in a number of different forms is one of them. Um, and apart from that, just opening up the market to new investors. So we've got two full checks, two half checks. Can we say that solar is mainstream today? I don't think we can say it quite yet. I mean, I think it's actually relatively impressive that we're as close as we are. From my perspective, you know, being used to talking about solar and thinking about solar as a niche technology, it's really impressive how close we are to it truly being mainstream. And I don't think that it's out of the realm of possibility to think that we'll check off those last two boxes in the next couple of years.